Hey there, I'm Brian Cummings with the e-commerce business school. I'm the director of training and coaching for EBS. And one of our members had a question about Amazon categories and which is the right category to list on. And I totally get it. I mean, look at this. Here we're on an Amazon sales page. I've just simply typed in shaver. And uh, if I were to select all and try to refine which category I should search for for a shaver, Look at all these different categories that they have here. And then they even show that some of these are apparently subcategories within a major category. So um, clothing has women, men's, girls, babies, boys and babies. Anyway, there's a lot here. And also there's some confusion around the home category because Amazon does talk about putting products in home. And yet look at this. There's uh, health, household, and baby care, which, by the way, is a kind of a new combination of category. Then there's home and business services, home and kitchen. Down here, even further, is tools and home improvement. So when Amazon says the home category, which one are they talking about? And does it matter? So if you are new to the e-commerce business school and would like to have more information about us, please click on the link in the bottom of the description at joinebs.com. Come and get some free training and support. Become a member in our uh, community, or in our business school community. Okay, so let's continue on here. Look on the left-hand side. This is where Amazon uh, gives you the departments that the product that you're searching for is listed in. So most of the shavers on Amazon, if I type in shaver, most of them are listed in beauty and personal care. And then within that, they might be in any one of these categories, subcategories here. So this particular razor might be in men's foil shavers. Uh, another, well, probably that one, because that's a foil shaver. This one's a rotary shaver, so you might find it right there, men's rotary shavers. But you could find shavers in electronics, digital music, even music and TV. Of course, they're not going to probably look like that. they will probably be something else that has to do with movies and TV that's related to a shaver. Let's take a look at another search here. So I've typed in coffee mug, and now it's going to tell me that it's in kitchen and dining. And you would think that it would be in home or household, especially since us long-time sellers that have been selling for a while know that kitchen and dining is a subset of the home and kitchen category on Amazon, but it's just the way that it is here. So here's kitchen and dining. Then it's broken into travel mugs and tumblers, mugs, glassware, novelty coffee mugs. And so any one of these products could be in one of these subcategories here. They might also be listed in sports and fan shop or in handmade products, handmade mugs, outdoor recreation any of these categories can have a coffee mug in there. So does that make sense? Like, should there be coffee mugs in books? Maybe not. However, it's gotten listed that way, which makes it confusing for sellers. Let me show you one other way that you can look at these subcategories on Amazon. So here's a wallet, a leather engraved wallet, and its wallets are normally in the clothing, shoes, and jewelry, and this particular wallet is in the subcategory of not only men, but the subcategory of accessories. And underneath that, the subcategory of wallets, card cases, and money organizers. And finally, we've come to the final subcategory of wallets. So for sellers, what do you do? You know, how do you figure out this? The one that you really need to understand is just the main category that the product is listed in. And if you go down here, all the way down to the below the product description, right down here, you'll find this particular phrase, Amazon best sellers rank. And you can see that this product has a particular sales rank. And for those of you that are not familiar with sales rank, that's just its level of popularity. The number one product in any category would be the very best selling product in that category. The number two, would be the second best and so on. So this product is the 2700th, 2707 at this particular time, ranked product in clothing, shoes, and jewelry. Now you'll also see it's number 26 in men's wallets and number 396 in men's shops. You don't have to worry about that. This is the number that you want. So let's go to um, 
our selling app on Amazon. Hey, Jackie, welcome. Glad to see you here. If you have any questions, by the way, and if you're watching this uh, in the future when it's not uh, live on Amazon, feel free to put questions into the box and I or one of our staff members will come and answer that for you. So one of our members in posting this question, what's up with all the product categories, also gave us some screen screenshots. She has been scouting or sourcing for products in probably a retail store. She's doing retail arbitrage, which means she's finding uh, discounted products at the store and then sending them into Amazon when the price and the sales rank makes sense for her so that she can make a profit. So she has scanned this UPC code right here and Amazon gave all of these products. This is one long page that you're actually looking at on the seller app on your phone. And as we scroll down here, you'll see that the first product is ranked 1,453,000. The next one is 908,381. And this one right here, you can barely see it. It's at 537,000. Remember, you want to get close to one. One is the best number. It has the most demand. It's the best selling product because certainly we want to list on the best selling product. But the price also plays a part here. You can see that this one is selling for $8.98 and $3.99 shipping. That's the buy box price. That's the target selling price. This one, however, is selling for more at $14.99. So we stand to make more of a profit by listing on this one and the sales rank is better, right? We will have a lower sales rank here. But this product says requires approval. So what's one to do? In fact, why would you find the same product here this is a two pack. That's a two pack. Um, see, it's six count, six cartridges. But if you look at it really closely, the picture is different. This might be a different Bic razor. So you've got to make sure you have the exact same product. Here's another one. But this one is a pack of six, and it's just one. And this is a two packs of six. Gets a little confusing, doesn't it? So we're looking at having the exact product. Then we're looking at the price and the sales rank. And as long as we have the exact product and can list on it, see that requires approval, we want to go ahead and list it there. So what do you do? We see multiple listings here. Looks a little confusing. We're trying to sort out which one is the right product, which one has the best sales rank and the best selling price for us. Once you've done that, it's a matter of can I sell it? And in this particular case, you'll have to go through the motions of uh, uh, requesting approval. That's what it's telling you right here. So when you go to list the item, Amazon will say this requires approval. Click the button here to um, uh, be approved or at least to gain approval. And then it'll let you know if it needs uh, additional hoops for you to jump through, like sending in invoices from a supplier or from the uh, seller or authorized wholesaler of this product, or it may say you're simply approved to sell it right then. May you may gain immediate approval. Now, why would there be multiple listings for the same product? If we look at the picture, that looks the same, that looks the same, that looks the same, that looks the same. It could be that the seller uh, created a new listing in order to take advantage of having of being the only seller on the listing. Remember, this is a two pack. This is a single uh, package right here. This one is a single package, but it's a pack of 11. So it's a little different. And over here, they've got eight pack bonus pack. So even though these could be the same razor, it could be that sellers are creating different listings to take advantage of having their own listing on here or a different price point. You could see here they're charging $83. But you'll also notice that this doesn't have a sales rank. And that's got to play into your determination of which of these to list your product on. So I'm hoping this is helpful. I know it gets a little confusing. Um, Jackie is saying you'll have to finish on the replay. So thank you very much, Jackie. And welcome, Kathy. Glad that you're here and watching this. 
So I'm hoping that this is helpful in explaining why you'll see multiple listings here. It could be that somebody's just trying to get around the approval requirement. They couldn't get it approved and so they created their own listing. Sometimes you'll find that people will list them in different categories to get away or get around the approval system. Amazon can be quite confusing, but basically you want to look for the best price with the best sales rank and the exact right product. And then you don't have to worry about all these different categories. Okay, hope that's helpful. If you have any questions at all, please type them in the box.